Good morning and welcome to Bangalore, Bengaluru, India. And there's a very big queue. The chai is good. It's good. Look at the technique. Just us getting the photos of the government building behind. We have our new friends. See how you're supposed to use it. This has got to be the perfect way to end our first day. Good morning and welcome to Bangalore, Bengaluru, India. The Silicon Valley of this great country and home to over 10 million people. The capital of Karnataka. And after spending two weeks in Mauritius, we have made it to the country of India. And already the sights, the smells, the noises are absolutely insane. We're actually going to be spending the next couple of months in the country seeing the north, the south and everything in between. But to start our day, we need to find a rickshaw and we need to get a chai. Jay Hind. Four hundred. Come on. Come. Come on. One hundred. One hundred rupees. It's on Uber thirty-five. Less. Come, on. come, come, come. Come on, buy sub. <laughs> come on, less. One fifty. Final. Thank you. Um, I'm pretty sure on Uber it's like a lot less, so maybe we'll be in charge too much and that will be an offer absolutely everything. No, thank you. No, okay. thank you. It's okay. Hello. Hello, myself. It's Hi. okay. No, thank you. No, thank it looks you. good though. Good. Acha, acha. Thank you. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm just so excited. Why are you laughing at? Now the TikTok driver's laughing at me. But yeah, what better way than to start your day than in a rickshaw? Chalo, yeah? Chalo. Chalo, chalo. Chalo, chalo. Before we continue exploring, we want to say a massive thank you to our friends at Skyscanner for being a long-term partner on our videos. Skyscanner is a world travel engine looking for flights, hotels, and so much more. We have been using Skyscanner for all of our travels and we're hoping to help you use Skyscanner for your next trip. Travel is often seen as complicated and that it needs to be well planned. Well, let me tell you, it's not complicated and you do not have to plan months in advance. You can actually use Skyscanner to be a bit spontaneous. Use it like a roulette. You can pop onto the website, click the search everywhere button and it will generate the cheapest destinations for you to visit. Simply put in your dates and your departing airport and check out the suggestions it brings up. Make sure you pick the first one. That's how you are really spontaneous. I had a look and I can see that you can fly from London to either Ireland or Poznan in Poland, which is actually a very colorful and vibrant city. And we would highly recommend that you visit it. We loved it when we were there. Again, a massive thank you to Skyscanner for being a long-term partner. We hope that we've convinced you to be spontaneous um, and try the roulette. So Bangalore is known as the hip city and the city in India with the most startup businesses. So a lot of the young people from all around the country will come here to start a life. Being there has a lively nightlife scene, lots of craft breweries, so I'm sure we're gonna indulge in a lot of them. But unfortunately, because so many people are coming to the city, the traffic is notoriously crazy. You have change? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Vance. Oh, I don't know if we got charged a little bit too much there at first. 
he was saying 400, but I think he thought the distance was like really far away. And then when we told him that it was somewhere closer, I mean, we got charged 160 in the end, so it was probably a slight foreign tax. And this is the place that looks like everybody comes to Chai, chai, chai. The chai is good? Yes. It's good? Good, good, good. Is it really good? Yes, very good. Tiga? Tiga? Yeah. Very good. Yeah, okay, we'll give chai. He says it's good. So oh, yeah. Hello. Can I have two chai? Please? How much is it? Can that repeat? It's two. Two chai. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank Oh, it's a real process. So you can see he's got it all going on there. You got the hot milk? Hot milk, straight in. Oh, they put a lot of sugar in, that's good. Okay, Give now. me a wake. Now what are we doing? Oh, wow. Oh, he's draining it. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Wow. This is a real process. I thought it was just as simple as like pouring the Thank you. Wow, this is hot. This is hot. Special chai. Cheers. Good chai? Cheers. Okay. Ah, oh, it's nice. It's very hot. It's good? It's good. Really nice. It's really sweet. It's like, and the only way I can describe it is literally like very milky tea. It doesn't seem to have any like much stronger flavor, just like sugar. But they're drinking it. They like it. So you can see he gets the milk, he puts the milk in the cup first and then he has the strainer and he strains all of that chai on top. And there's a very big queue. The chai is good? It's good? Very good. Thank you. How much? 24. Do you have change? Ah, uh, you. 100, thank you. The cow was in your shop. The cow was in your shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he said, but he's laughing at us. Oh, you feed the cow. What's it eating? Puri? It eating puri? Puri. 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 The cow loves the puri. The cow likes puri. Puri. Yeah. If the puri is good. Tiga. Tiga. Thank you, Vad. What's your name? Sorry. My name is Suri. So we just met Suri, and he's just Namaste. explaining. Namaste. Yeah. Hi, he's hi. just explaining that they. You feed the cow? Yeah, we feed the cow. It's more like a divine thing here in India. And uh, they're so smart, they come here every morning. Every morning? Yeah, we have the place over there. You see that place? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we keep the pot full every day. So basically it knows that on one side it gets some vegetables, on the other it gets some puri. Yeah. It's a very clever cow. Yeah. And, and they're, they're not harmful. You can eat No, that. no, no. Yeah, yeah. Of course. And, and basically a lot of people who are ill, and, uh, yeah, a lot of doctors say, a lot of doctors say that if you rub them, no? Feel the vibration from that. Yeah. What do you do it? Rub the cow. Yeah, you can actually rub. Oh. Do you feel good? I feel good. Yes, I mean, you There's get the vibration. One now. Yeah, they keep coming. <laughs> they keep coming, yeah. You are the cow whisperer. Then you've had. What a nice guy. He wasn't only a cow whisperer, he is also an event manager, and he's actually invited us to one of his like nightclub events in a few days so hopefully we'll check that out remember bangalore is the silicon valley of india it has the most startups so i feel like we're going to find a lot of businessmen and women in this city oh my gosh this is the hardest bit crossing the road in oh wow i think you just gotta go for it there's a lot going on no one else is crossing so i don't know if we're dodging everybody i don't <laughs> think we're really meant to be going there but we're currently walking towards mg road which is known as sort of like the hub, the main road in all of Bangalore, and from there you can pretty much get everywhere. But we made it. We made it across. Our first, <laughs> our first Indian road crossing. We found the coconut man, Bangalore. It's hot. I do need a drink. <laughs> no, Skada. Morning. 
40 rupees for one coconut. That's good. We'll have one, please. Then you bird. Then you bird. Thank you. They look good. You ready? These are fresh. Oh, good. Fresh, They're fresh, new. Fresh. Very fresh. You got them. You got the coconut from the tree. Wow. Clever. Sweet. Sweet, right? Uh, sweet. Yeah. Sweet. The best one. The best coconut you have. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Look at the technique. It's exceptional from the man. <laughs> exceptional by sub. You're an expert. Then you've had for you, Molly. Wow, thank you so much. I'm gonna try it, okay? Ooh, Acha, very good. He picked me a ripe, sweet coconut. And for 40 rupees, I'd say it's 40 rupees well spent. Thank you. Then you've had. That was a good coconut and 40 rupees. I think that was a, I think that was a fair price, but we're now pretty much in and around the MG Road area and you can see straight away. It's completely different. You've got the sort of quirky bars with the street art and it seems like a really, really modern area, don't you think? It seems like our type of area. I've just seen downtown pub. They're sort of promoting all sorts of flavours of Kingfisher in their own room. Not yet, it's too early. It's a bit it's too, too early. early for Kingfisher. This is so different from when we were. They have the big fancy glass buildings and all of these quirky little posh bars, restaurants, cafes, whatever you want to call it. I feel like Bangalore really has something for everyone. You go from one street, which is nitty gritty street food, I don't know what that was. And then the next street, quirky. This is very, very different. It's kind of giving me a cross between like an Asian city like Tokyo or something, a Southeast Asian one, but there's lots of shops. Uh, it gives me Bangkok. Street food. Yeah, it's just very like, it's very busy and you can buy whatever you want along this street. All I can hear is blaring music from the rooftop bars above. I'm excited. But like very excited to explore this city at night. For such a large city, it feels extremely walkable. We've wandered along the many highways from MG Road and we have made it to Cobbon Cubbon Park, which I think is the most famous park in the whole city. What is it, Butterfly? Yeah, we're just trying to put it back. Oh, it's hurt. Oh, it's hurt. oh no. Oh, no. I think you should be able to. Oh, oh it's such a beautiful you got it. Oh, you saved it. <laughs> <laughs> See, everyone here in Bangalore. So friendly that they're worried about the butterflies. Blooming butterflies. So Bangalore is known as the Garden City of the South. And this is Kuban Park or Kuban Park. And I think it's the biggest and most famous park in the whole city and we're already getting selfies. We'll do a double selfie. Smile. It's good. Are you from Bangalore? Yes. You live here? Bangalore, Bangalore. It's good city? Tiga? Yes. Tiga? Tiga? Very good, good very city. good. You have, in your city, you have very fat dogs. The dogs are The dogs big. are very yeah, fat. you feed them? Yes. The dogs? <laughs> nice to meet you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Nice Angel. My name? Yes. And you? Angel. Nice to meet you, then you've had <laughs> our first Indian selfie. And these are what I was talking about in Bangalore. The dogs are unbelievably fat. It honestly feels so different. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but it doesn't feel like you're in the city. You know, you're in like a jungle. It's pretty quiet apart from the odd motorbike. And fat dog. And just fat dogs and selfies. Hello. So I've been doing my research and apparently on a Sunday it is a known thing for all the locals, well a lot of the locals, to come down to Cubbon Park and they actually feed the dogs. It's, yeah. like, it's like a known activity to come to the park on a Sunday and feed the dogs. That's why wherever you go in Bangalore, the dogs they're huge, they're big, they're fat and look there's another one over there, you're not going to be able to see it, but they just lay on the floor all day, they're just <laughs> rolling around the park. Designed based on the House of Commons in London. I can kind of see it. 
I mean, it is a very impressive building. If I had to go to work every day, or I worked for the Indian government, I'd like to work here. And it's sort of a, like I say, a tourist attraction within itself. All the locals are coming down here, getting their selfies with the building behind, surrounded by the greenery of Covent Park. Look at it. That's what I was saying. Not just us getting the photos of the government building behind. We have our new friends. Hello. The bi-subs. <laughs> and they're going to show us, I think. You know somewhere good for food close by? Uh, here, here is on uh, MG Road. Is there. If I walk it, yeah. or maybe this way. We've been to MG Road. Ah, two sides there. You can go we can go this way as well. Yes. Thank you, you bad. So but lots of selfies. Yeah, yeah, get in, get in. This lots of selfies. Government building, the Parliament of the. Oh, it's Parliament building. Ah, we were saying the wrong thing, Molly. Parliament building. Parliament. Ah, I thought it was government because it says government work is God's work. Government is not. It is a legislative building. Yeah, it's Parliament. Ah, I see. You're like a guide. You are my guide today. Thank you so much. My face is sore from smiling. I feel like I've just stood here for like. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Bye bye. I feel I've just taken 100 selfies. As soon as one person sees someone getting a selfie, they're like, ah. Maybe I should get a selfie, so everyone ends up taking selfies. I'm saying selfie a lot, but anyway, they did actually recommend to us a specific restaurant to try the best Carnatican cuisine, and they said to get the Metro, but we kind of want to save the Metro for another day, because the Metro here is meant to be one of the best in all of India, so I don't know. Do we try and get another ritual? We try. We should. We'll try. Are you coming in? Yes, sir. I thought so. Okay, no, sir. Rickshaw? Rickshaw? Right, come on, stay Indranagar. Ishtu? Ishtu? Indranagar. No one wants to take me? You don't want to take me? Indranagar. I'll show you. Nobody knows Indranagar. Are we saying it wrong? Let me show you. Look, Indranagar. Okay? Indranagar. 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 Ah. The same. How much? S2? Kidna rupee. Kidna rupee? Yeah. How much? Nobody wants to take us in the rickshaw. No? Just at the metro. At the metro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KFC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, KFC is good. We'll go to KFC. How much? Kidna. How much? This is too much. One fifty. One fifty. Uber is Uber is one hundred. So one fifty. No? Nobody wants to take us in the rickshaw. No, no you sure? You sure? One fifty. We'll go one fifty. We go now. Yeah, one fifty. Uh, no two hundred. One fifty. We swap in one fifty. In the Naga. In the Naga. Yes. Let's go. One fifty. One fifty. Ah. Are ya? 150. 150. 150. I know the price. 150. 150. Yeah? Okay, 150. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Vlad. Oh my gosh, it is a uh, it's a real battle. Every time you want to get a rickshaw, um, word of advice, clearly don't go to the rickshaw stands or the rickshaws outside a tourist attraction which we kind of have done go to the <laughs> middle of the street flag one down and you'll probably get it for the half price you won't get the foreigner price i don't think he's given did we have foreigner price my friend is this good price? this is good price we're going to have a kfc, KFC. Yeah? okay we go to kfc it's a good price nice to meet you so you think it was good price 150 it's good price it's good, not, not cam, cam. Less, less, less. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa, no, 300 is crazy. Ara, yeah. Then you've had my sub. 150. Thank you. Then you've had. No, no, 150. Then you've had. Tried it a little bit. Thank you. Um, yeah, he wanted 20 more rupees or 30 more rupees. But we didn't even go to the right place. We're meant to go to KFC. Oh, there's. There's KFC. That was the only place that they knew in India Nagla. India Nagla? India Nagla. India Nagla. It was KFC. We're not here for KFC. We're here for the restaurant 
that our friends recommended to us. Okay. I think I can see where we have been recommended. It's called the Rami Shawarma Cafe. And you can tell that it's good because it is. Oh so my good. gosh. Everyone's standing on the street with the place. We're going to have to try and juggle all our things. Look at it. No, this is the wrong place. No, it's here, look. Oh, this, oh my this God. This is where all the people are. So apparently this is the best place for South Indian Carnatican cuisine. How are we going to get through? I have no idea. I feel like you just grab it and eat it here. Grab and go. Oh my God, look, you can get ghee pang doses, masala doses, roast doses, what are you onion doses. We're going to have to ask someone. I don't know what to get. I have no clue what to get. I'm trying to look to see who I can ask. What do you recommend? And it's good, it's from Karnataka? Okay, we'll try it. Then you're bad. Okay, I'll get one of them. Thank you very much. I'm from London. Are you from Bangalore? Bangalore. Is it cute? It's very busy, eh? Wow, everybody has that. Did you want to get one of them? Maybe, maybe we'll get that as well. One of each. God, it all looks so good. One idli, please. And one idli masala dosa. Um, how, where can the plate? Yeah, to eat here. Like this, eat here. Thank you. Can I have a plate? Is that okay? That's 150 rupees for the idli. And we, we went to his recommendation, the ghee for the masala dosa. Awesome out of Okay, so we'll pay by cash. Then you've had. This has got to be the busiest. Look at this, busiest and most popular street food joint in all of Bangalore, and probably the fanciest. You can pay by card, and then you can come round. You can see all of them. There are so many people preparing food. Right there. It's quite a small. It's quite a small menu actually. It just specialises in southern treats. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Oh, everyone's that busy that everyone's banging into me. Thank you. Oh, thank you, bud. So as you can see, they're making all of the dishes. Like I said, quite a small menu. There's only like five, ten items. And in there, it is, it's literal chaos in there. I'm sweating from the chaos, but it looks so good. We can wait. Do you want me to try this first? So this is the idli. This is the idli. It looks really, really good. I have no idea how you're supposed to eat it. Mm. You have spicy chutney, the samba, and the idli. Oh, it's so good. It's really, really spicy. Thank you, bud. Thank you all. Oh. And we have the ghee masala dosa. This is what was recommended to us by a really nice guy in the uh, in the queue. It's essentially the South Indian speciality, the Karnataka speciality. Maybe that's the ghee. I don't actually know. Do you want to hold it so I can eat it? Look at it though. It looks oh my amazing. god, it looks so good. So this so is 120 good. rupees, so basically a pound for a huge beast. Absolute beast. That's really spicy, that green this, stuff. A little bit of this. I don't know if I'm eating it right. Oh wow. Is it nice? Wow, it's so good. It's spicy, it's crispy, it's very spicy. I don't know if I'm eating it right. I feel like I'll ask someone about No, it. I think you're eating it right. You just crisp it up with your hands. It's amazing, you need to try it. Can I ask you a question? What is the best way to eat the dosa? The best way to eat So do we just break just it? Rip it off and dip it in it? So dip it in the sambar, dip it in the chutney and just eat it like this. Okay. And these are good here, yeah? Yeah. They're good doses? I think I'm trying for the first time. Have it? I'm trying for the first time. Oh really? So you don't know if they're good or not? Oh well, I'll tell you. It's a very good one. It's very sweet. That's that's quite spicy for me. Thank you, bud. Thank you, bud. Thank you so much. Now we know how to eat a dose. These are so different. I don't know. Obviously, ghee, so like fat, but inside it has like spiced potato. That was some unbelievable South Indian food. A ghee masala dosa. I've never heard of a ghee masala dosa. I've heard of a masala dosa, but not a ghee one. But this is turning into the perfect. 
first day in India, in Bangalore, across the road from the South Indian street food place is the Hox House Tap Room. I mean, I'm ending my day with a beer in the beer capital of India, the craft beer capital of India, Bangalore. I'm excited. This is like perfectly consistent because my mouth is on fire and I'm sweating. The only thing that's going to cool it down is a nice cold beer. Hello. Hello. Hi, Can we have some beer, please? <laughs> <laughs> Two Bangalore beers, two, toit. two toit Tim Tim. Thank you, Daniel Vad. So by sub has actually just given us two testers. I've really drank off of mine because I was so thirsty. But what is this one? Which one is this? This is the Tim Tim toit. This is the one that we're actually going to be getting. Oh, we're going to be having it's this. It's really light, and you have. And this is the stout. We have the stout. Oh, it's good. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Instead, can we get one of the stout and one of this one? Why is it that good? Mm. That's unbelievable. And then you'll let it settle. Yes. Like this? It's like the Indian Guinness. Yes. So, I will give a rest for the 30 seconds. Thank you. Like this. Then I can add. And then you continue. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 Let me taste. We've already tasted it to be fair. Oh no, but I just wanted to taste the nice one. Oh, it is heaven. This is unreal. So this actually comes from the Toit Brewery and apparently Bangalore was the place where the first micro brewery opened. So yeah. that's why there's a load of beer pubs. This is breweries. our this is our sort of city. This is Sat yes, on a terrace, saying. looking at the crazy streets, drinking a beer. This was only about two pound two hundred and forty five rupees, so like one, about two, two pounds, English pounds. Yeah. And this has got to be the perfect way to end our first day in India, exploring the Silicon Valley of this great country. I'm so excited for the next couple of months. We've tried some street food. We've had a street coconut. Molly has got a chai this morning and I'm ending the day with an ice cold pint of beer, watching the chaos. Cheers, we'll see you in the next one.